don't know how to, do you know how to read it? Yeah, you see where the light's pointing? What? No, where am I supposed to be looking? You see where the light's pointing? Oh. So a little past noon? Yeah. I see. It's hard to see. To be honest though. What time is it? No, 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 not good. Well, they didn't set it forward for daylight savings, exactly. I bet. I love the big lights for the cars, little lights for the bikes. It's a little nerve-wracking making right turns out here, huh? Yeah, you gotta double, double check, look twice, save a life. Bikers are everywhere. Copenhagen and Amsterdam are kind of, people call them sister cities. The bike culture is very, very prevalent in both of them. Yeah, Copenhagen was very different from Stockholm. The energy level just went from, I'd say like a three or four to like, we're going to nine or 10. They take a lot of pride in both the history of the older parts of town and, and the architecture there. And then you combine that with just the amount of people on bikes. And I love that, you know, Solly lived in Amsterdam, I'm sure you all know, uh, but like, it feels like those two cities are one and two and just like, hey man, we're, we're gonna bike around. We're gonna, we're self-powered commuters and we're proud of it. We're gonna get a couple rigs and we're gonna go check out uh, a very bike-friendly town, Copenhagen. Where are the numbers on them? This is your bike right here. There are many like it. This one's mine. Yep. From personal experience, if you put your bag in the front, yep. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's a good start. It's gonna knock it over. Don't put it in there. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Oh, come on. All right. We're dialed. You did good. And a big part of why I fell in love with Amsterdam was the fact that I used a bike to get everywhere. I went to work on my bike. I went to restaurants on my bike. I went to bars on my bike. I biked home at two o'clock in the morning. That's just how you get around. That's just the entire culture. And we got to recapture a little bit of that in Copenhagen. So Sally and I took a nice long bike ride around the city. One of my favorite things to do uh, when I've lived in New York City, when I've lived in San Francisco, I look forward to commuting and to getting places on a bicycle. Um, I, I find it stimulating, exhilarating at times, like, oh my God, I might get duffed. Uh, but I didn't, you know, it's, it, it kind of just uh, turns the uh, Instagram filter up on life a little bit. We're at Falsterbo, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Looks like uh, the old country, which I know is going to favor Randall. I have some thoughts on Falsterbo. I really cool. Really cool clubhouse, lots of history, lots of different little clubs within the club, which are fun. You know, there's there's a group of guys that play in the winter and their whole deal is um, essentially when the conditions get really nasty is, is when their league starts. It's a wonderful course to walk. It's very flat. You're right out on the water. Uh, there's an old historic lighthouse, which is cool. Falsterbo is very English in nature. They have a lot of RNA members. Uh, very proud of that. It's on this little peninsula, this little sp uh, spit of land, the Falsterbo Peninsula, southern end of Sweden, right across the bay from Copenhagen. Kind of an interesting course in that you can tell what the original holes were, and then you can tell what was sort of pieced in after the fact. It sits on a nature preserve. I think they're a little bit hamstrung by what they can and can't do. I feel all right. You know, I feel like I haven't played my best golf by any means on the trip, so it'll be a good day to put it all together. What's that look like for you? <laughs> ben, that's a, how much time do we have? Uh, you know, just avoiding really costly mistakes is usually what it looks like. Formats changed now, we're in match play. Yep. Uh, What's that? What's that look like? Are there any strokes being given? I think it's straight up for the first time in our history. I think we're doing no strokes. Uh, we're both 7.7, 7, 7.6, something like that. So it's a, it, we're playing real golf today. 
Great sea breeze, cool setting, kind of a lynxy course. I'm hoping it conjures something in me. Should I flip? Sure. I think that's you. It's cool that we have Hitter Blanco with us today. <laughs> I know. The referee for this game will be Tron Carter. <laughs> I'm just keeping an eye on the match. I'm like the match referee today. Yeah, I'll make sure there's, you know, there's no rules violations or anything like that. Play well, Randall. You too. Uh, I'm expecting a good, clean fight. I think Randy's, Randy's a, a match play savant. Keeps his ball in play. But yeah, I think uh, I'm expecting him to prevail. I think DJ struggles a little bit in the wind. DJ is trying to convince himself that he's found it. I don't necessarily believe it. Good ball. DJ, hey, just want to let you know I'm taking the, the Copenhagen Danish one off, putting the Taurus sauce one on. As I'm a non competing marker today, I don't want to make any brash statements or anything like that. I need to just play very smart golf, stay out of bunkers, and try to putt better than him. I think that's my formula for, uh, for victory because he's going to be very steady. Uh, he's going to be up around the green in two. He's going to chip on, make a lot of fours and fives. Uh, I need to just not take myself out of the holes. Sit. That's not good. Whoa. Sick. Hell yeah. Big, this could get interesting. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. It's a good play. Yeah, that first one was so much harder than the second one. We need to put a little bounce in the step today, Ben. We need to have a little fun. We need a little Jutana Garden smile going on. It's golf. It's not supposed to be so fucking stressful. I mean, these two, you can't really call it going to war. It's more of a, it's like a hunger strike sometimes with these guys. Hang on. Dang it. You know, so, kind of civil disobedience, nonviolent protest against each other. I think, I don't know, if I had to guess, it's uh, like kind of the alligator arms on the check. No, I couldn't possibly. If, if one of them goes one or two up, the other one's like, nah, I gotta, you know, gotta bring it back to all square. Tell me a little bit about your uh, your putting thoughts this morning. Uh, yeah, just trying to, trying to, I'm, I think I'm gonna putt one-handed today. At least the way, inside of, specific? inside of like 25 feet or so. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm in a dark place. So you'll, you'll see plenty of it. Good there. Very cool. Very cool, man. Very cool to see the sportsmanship. <laughs> Not a bad roll. Yeah. Might have to put the other hand back on. <laughs> Might have to put the other hand in play. There it is. Swing. Swing oh, it's not too bad in here. Play big. Go. Go! Ah. Perfect. Shot. Unlock the angle, too. Yeah. All right, he said uh, because this is all like a big nature preserve, they can't use normal bunker sand. So he said uh, it's all like natural, whatever the natural sand is. So what did said, he call the bunkers? Rooms for swearing? Yeah, he said there's plenty of room for swearing because of the sand. So that's a good swing thought to have as I kind of lean into this one. Okay. That was not the sand. The match between DJ and Randy that day was a pillow fight, but it was a really, really aggressive pillow fight. Like the two of them hitting each other really hard with pillows, like maybe even concussions with the pillows. These guys keep this shit up. We're calling this thing after seven. I'm going to the bar and getting some schnapps. TZ, uh, TZ you might have to declare TZ no is going to stop the fight. <laughs> uh, it's a no contest. <laughs> the course itself was was weird because it was like, it was both very linksy and then it'd be like, oh, there's this small little pond here. And I'd be like, wait, what? Safety first. Tell you where we weren't going. 
Be good, huh? Oh, great Brilliant shot. Play. Thanks. Go Ooh. in. Jeez. Ooh. Slightly intimidating shot, downwind, rock hard out of the rough. Yeah, just make sure you cover by like a foot and then it should stop by the back. It's good there, yeah. Great bird. The game's the big winner today. Game's <laughs> I think no matter what, the game's gonna win. Stay on the green. <laughs> We're just getting reps now. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that is so, that is the most interesting story in golf. Now let's go over to four where we have Tron Carter. It hasn't hit it outside 11 feet today. It's three over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Randy, it's claw time, I think. Soft, 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 soft. Bet you didn't see that. <laughs> so just massively fighting your golf swing, fighting a massive right and left miss, and you've got a crosswind on every hole, and you've usually got water of some sort on one side of the hole, and you've got 125, 122, whatever it is, bunkers out there, and the bunkers don't have normal sand like in them. Sand and you're trying not to make a double and like yeah. lose a hole, it's just, it was truly exhausting. It's not enough club, sorry. You get to every single shot was just like, okay, lie, wind, run out, shape, flight. What was the yardage again? How far am I trying to fly? It's just so many steps and it's so easy to forget one and just be like, oh, right, right, right. I forgot about the lie. Or you just are thinking about all that and then it's like, oh, well, I guess I just like chunked it 40 yards short. Cool, 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 cool. God, I'm uncomfortable. It wasn't a ton of safe zones no. around the green. Um, so it just, yeah, I, I think it just was super uncomfortable, which I kind of like in a golf course. I'm just not that good and <laughs> I know you kind of felt the same thing when you're standing over the golf ball and you're not quite sure where the ball is going to go. This makes for a very stressful day. And kudos to TC because he played a really, really good round yesterday. I think he was two under the back. Falser was interesting for me personally because that's where I found the claw. The putting was an issue as it has been for many decades now. Cody convinced me to try out the claw. I've been resistant. Oh, TC, meanwhile, makes birdie. Cool. Woo! Cool, Randy. Cool, cool. Was that the claw? Two hands oh, with the claw. It was a claw. That's interesting. I was begging him to do that yesterday. Begging him. And I made probably 100 feet of putts in a row. And I was like, holy shit, this is so much fun. This is, I want to play golf. I want to play more golf. Whoa. Tracking. <laughs> TC's a convert, I think. At least for now. It's always cool to have a front row seat to, to, to matches where I'm kind of the, the guy. I'm like the Falwell. I'm just over here in the corner kind of hanging out, doing my own thing. Oh, draw. <laughs> Fuck. Is it out? Yeah. Minding my own business, working on my own game. It, it was just a treat for it. me to be there and to be able to watch this. That's not very good. Very, very calculating there. <laughs> so meanwhile, Neil and Sally are riding around Copenhagen on bikes. That day exploring with Neil was one of my favorite days in the trip. Just going out, being connected with the city, stopping in a coffee shop here and there. And just, again, feeling like I feeling like I lived in Copenhagen, feeling like I was a part of that society there. I'll tell you what, it looks like you're already back in the uh, that European state of mind. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a homebody, naturally. Like when I get home from work or whatever, I'm done. I'm ready to just sit and chill. Yet, when you have a culture that revolves around bikes, it encourages you to get out and be active. And that's what I love. Like I would just go and just get on my bike and ride around the city for 30 minutes to do something. I really miss that about uh, about living over here. European cities are like living museums. Like it's so ancient. It's all so ancient. All these buildings. There's buildings here from probably the 1700s that we were seeing earlier today, and they live and work amongst it. And, and this is what their society is based around. And I brings back a uh, 
a weird, like truly pit in my stomach, nostalgic feeling. Just like this fleeting feeling of like, this is a part of your life that is past and gone. And mm -hmm. you can get a little taste of it here and there. Yet at the same time, when you're doing it, you know it's not forever. It was like adult college over here. I mean, you just jump on a plane and go to a random European country and spend the weekend and drink and eat and meet people and tour around and see stuff and get back on a plane and go back home and go back to work. You knew you were kind of cheating life, but it's just really fun to experience that. I'm, I'm glad we can all be here as a group and do it. It's a very different tour sauce this time around. What do you think is happening in that match? Randy's a tough freaking match. He shot a million over par in the stroke play. The day before we started the competition, we had a very earnest match uh, and he beat me one up. So I think, I don't think, absolutely everything goes out the window once these matches start. And if the golf course is a good fit, he's gonna be a very, very tough match. So if you can't tell, I think Randy is gonna win today against DJ. Uh, if I had to make a guess, I think Randy's gonna win. Um, DJ just seems like he's totally faking it, which is understandable because he's doing a lot of other stuff. But you build that up in your head and then when you do look back and revert back to bad habits, then it's twice as frustrating. We'll see. We'll see. I, I think it's. Uh, I think you're gonna be playing Randy though. If I had, to, if I was a, a betting man, if, if you know, if the Beluga was putting some nuggies on it, he would say uh, the big guys are gonna get it done. Huh. Oh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Sheesh. Hey, that's good. Give me that one. Yeah. Gosh. Get right. Uh, I think that's a bunker. What's that gonna get you? Not much. All right, just get it out. Well, Mission accomplished. Don't have to do it quite so literally. Yeah, there's a lot of right hand hit in that. What a stroke. Great pot, man. What a fucking stroke, big. Come on, boy. Uh, and then the golf, the golf started to get a lot better down the stretch as we, as we made the turn to the back nine. I think these guys saw me making hundreds of feet of putts. I went to the claw. Randy was inspired by that. Stay out of there. Play it, dude. Catch that. Spin. Chill. Climb. The pillow fight is, is back on. Good Good fight, magnificent, man. Thanks. Randy. Thank you. Couple of big putts in a row there. But Putt, Deej. Thanks. God, we remain tied? Five, five. Remain tied, what was that, nine? Yeah, it was nine, yeah. Woof. Nine hole match, big. So I think I would have signed up for it this uh, morning. For sure. People watching at home are gonna be clowning us. Not good golf. I will say, I think it's a pretty difficult course. Um, obviously very firm. This is so embarrassing. Between us, zero pars on the front nine. Now my man did make a birdie. He's got that going for him. I did not. I'm still searching for my first par, which I'm hopeful means we're gonna have a good back nine. But we will see. Ooh. Great job, big. Well done. Thank you. I'm trying to like think my way around this place properly, which basically just makes me like very uncommitted to shots and uh, takes a very duct taped golf swing and makes it even worse. I need to just try to find some commitment on this side, I think. I think both of us are probably disappointed to be uh, even, and I think both of us are probably thrilled to be even. It's been one of those matches. Break. Take it away. Thanks. Thanks. Good run. Good four. Four. 
Nobody keeps Big Randy parless. <laughs> Nobody. Is that your first par? Yes. Really? First par of the match, in fact, TC. <laughs> what do you think of that shit? Neither of you guys have had a par? No. You're serious? Yeah. We're in the 10th hole? <laughs> yeah. 11th hole? 10th hole? Oh. oh. Good run at it. Thanks. Listen, pars are gonna win holes out here. That's just the way it's gonna be. Like period, point blank. Mr. Big goes one up. And it was crosswinds all freaking day. I don't know that we had one hole that was dead down and it was the par th the 130 yard par three, 140 yard par three that we had like no chance, <laughs> no chance of stopping the ball on the green. I like it. it big. Fuck. Grass back there. I'll be He's good. Back. That's the one. Oh yeah, that's the one. Sit, sit. Jeez. Wow. Pitching wedge? Pitch, yeah. Like barely. That's pretty good, yeah, man. That's, that's pretty so good, close. my man. Nice play. Thank you. Come on. Ah. God, that was good there. Such a good putt. All right, you guys are back to your bogey ways. We're not playing stroke play today. We're playing match play today. People forget that. Par is irrelevant. Doesn't matter. We're playing that fucking guy over there. The entrances to the greens, they don't give you a ton of wide, easy areas to run the ball up, which is kind of what I was thinking, being like real link style. Come on, wind, hit it. <laughs> oh. No. Come on, wind. Three bunkers. That's it. Yeah, I could try, man. Pillow fight. Thanks. Great pot. That's Thanks. good. Good old. Thanks. Woo. And then the back nine is like really, really good. It's probably like the flattest golf course I've ever played too. It felt a little bit like Carnoustie, where you're like sitting down in this bowl. You know you're near the water, but you don't really see the water. You can see Copenhagen across the way. You see the bridge in the distance, the cool lighthouse there as well. People, public right of way. People, a lot of, you know, a lot of people walking into the line of fire. Watch out, sorry. You're good. <laughs> God, that would have been sick. That would not have been sick. That's a good one. You keep an eye on this, Dig. Like 280, maybe? What? Oh, fuck, it goes right? Yeah. Slide. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Play, dude. Thanks. Big, absolutely flashing. Great shot, man. Oh. 
far. Thanks. Far ditch. Dang. Perfect game's over. Damn, man. sluts. All right, 201 stick, gentlemen. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Bye. It's a tough win, guys. Tough win, fellas. It's been hard. Ripper Magoo. Nice shot. Thanks. Woo! Great shot, man. Thanks. Mr. Fig. Simma. That's so shitty. Mm. High ball game. Yeah, that's good there, big. Four-hole match. Four-hole match. Would, would they have signed up for it? Now we're getting into that territory. Okay. All right, wanted to play up the safe zone. Lovely pace. Woo! Good five, big. Thanks. Great five. Thank you. Playing some golf now. Thanks. Wow. 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 Okay. What a putt. How about that? Flash. Great five. Thanks. God, the queef has been eradicated. <laughs> Wiped off the face of the earth. Fly. Okay, be right there. Yeah. Oh, be good, Ben. Great shot. Thanks. What? Ahead. Good there. God. Good four. Thanks. Great pot, dude. He sees making too many pots. Shit. Pots. This is. You need to send word via courier back to baby Neil. Great pot, man. Thanks. Get up and down, my man. Thank you. Quality fours there, boys. Two whole match? Thanks. Just a two-hole match. <laughs> all right. Would good, they have taken that? Good golf that? being played all of a sudden. How would you boys assess the match, you blokes? I think it's gotten good. Yeah, I think it's gotten good all of a sudden. I think we, you know, I think we both have a little play to the competition in us. Maybe. Oh, yeah, for sure. We settled down, feel like we belong. Yeah. 
Now I think we're ready to play. Come on, big. That's so heady. <laughs> big, that'll play all fucking day. That is the wind cheater right there. Great shot. Thanks. <laughs> Great shot, Biggie. Well done. Really good. Settle. Play. Putt. Thanks. Ow. Oh. Good. Let that be fast downwind. Pulled it. It's good. Wow. One whole match. Yep. I kind of just want it to be over, one way or the other. <laughs> let's just let's just end it. Golf always looks way harder when you're not playing, but this place looks hard. <laughs> with a knife. I can feel it in my plums. Good one. Two fifty five flag. There's a decent amount of hurt. All right. Oh, or a dead block into the ocean. Okay, in the ballpark. Got it. We'll go hunt huh. that down for you, I big. can still see it. Where'd it go? Okay. It's as bad as I lo it looked, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. All this does is, literally all this does is bring that bunker into play. to see the view all right god if this comes out clean it's not terrible Pretty good play there. Okay. Chill. 
Spin. Where's the spin? All right. Oh. Okay. You guys are not making it okay. easy on themselves. No, I couldn't possibly. You take the check. Who wants it? Bad. Well played. Oh. <laughs> Pillow fight continues. That's good, that's good, that's good. Hey. That's good, that's good. Great match. <laughs> Always fun with you, Big. Congrats. Thank you. Lordy. I wish you safe passage. <laughs> and also with you. I know uh, you got a thing with Mr. Chris, so it should be a good one tomorrow. I'm excited for that. I'm excited. We got a day off. We got a day off, and then we'll see your ass at uh, Fielbaka. Bring it. God, I can't wait. Cannot <laughs> wait. I think the people deserve DJ versus Solly. I, I think that's one of the best running subplots of tourist sauce, you've eliminated him, eliminated him now three years in a row. We'll go for the four, so I, I'm, in a sense, I'm happy to step aside and let you do your thing. Uh, surely, surely, Solly, surely. not lose four no, times in a row. It would be with, impossible. With you having- uh, 11 clubs. Only 11 <laughs> clubs in the bag, fighting your swing, surely Solly will, will for Big sure. No, tomorrow. of course, of course. I'm looking forward to that for him yeah, as well. I think he deserves that. Oh, get me off this golf course. Sorry, TC. <laughs> Great putt. <laughs> he, <tries laughs> anyways. See, he hasn't missed a putt all day. What'd you shoot, TC? I got two under on the back. Fuck yeah. Great putt. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Hey. Oh, it was a grind. Always a grind against Mr. Big. He doesn't let you Always have him. Always a grind against him. Mr. He never Big. lets you have him no, easy. No, it's just, man, that was, that was a lot of golf course out there.